Gun Freak Nation. It's the president, T. Latrick. Um, first and foremost, I want to say excuse the fan right here. It's, 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 it's hot. I'm upstairs in my home, and usually when I do these videos, I do it late at night when it's much cooler. But I had to get this off my chest, and more importantly, off my heart, okay? God is love. You about to see another part of me that you've never seen before. God is love, man. Um, what's going on in the country is so sick and twisted but on July 13th, you saw something divine. You cannot tell me there is no God. Even me, myself, used to be skeptical because of all the other killings that has happened. I always reference the church killing when that racist in North Carolina, South Carolina, he went in that church and murdered those black people dealing roof. And I said, where is God? You need a gun. You need a gun. And I'm not doubting that there is a God. But July 13th, Trump, he don't supposed to be here, man. That was an act of God. I don't care what nobody say. A bullet get that close to nick your ear. God is trying to save this country from the demonic forces, the demonic powers that is at hand. It is so ugly right now. People are filled with hate. I stepped out my home. I went to the gas station. I went to the store. Wherever I went, it was conversations going on. I've had phone conversations. I've heard, I've turned it on my radio in my car. The DJs having conversations about it. Celebrities, rappers chiming in on it. And the consensus is why did the shooter miss? Why did the shooter miss? They're, they're disappointed because the shooter missed. And they're making fun. They're actually celebrating that our former president got shot so if you are saying why did the shooter miss what does that say about you because to me when I hear somebody making an evil ignorant comment basically wishing death upon someone it more so reflects your character. Okay? It reflects your character. And it tells me how evil and deviant and how blind and ignorant that you are. And this, this is what I'm talking about. That the Democrats, the Democrats... And I'm not trying to be divisive, but I'm calling it for what I see it, how I see it. The demon crants got their hooks, and, 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 and my people, the people that look like me, they got their hooks in them so deep that they blind, confused, and ignorant. And if you try to show them the righteous path, 
They will fight you. They will argue with you. They will be ready to kill you. Before they take in the truth. They always accuse, you know, they put it out there, man. It's it's called it's 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 cold words, okay? It's cold words out there. It's cold words, right? Anytime when you have the president on national TV saying that um this guy is a threat to our democracy, our, our way of life. Uh, whatever the word they, these these Democrats love to use, existential, whatever, essential threat to this country he is. He poses a central threat. He, he needs to be stopped. I saw clips of this show that I don't watch called The View every day. They demonizing Trump and basically saying he needs to be dealt with, if you know what I'm saying. Um, how long can you talk in codes? How long can you say this guy is a threat to our democracy and a threat to our uh, ray of life before somebody mentally ill or somebody that's just evil trying to be a hero Try to end this man. Try to take him out. Thinking he doing the country a favor. So, yes, blame lies within the Democrat Party because they're the ones that went out there um, poisoning this man's name and, you know, uh, uh, assassinating his character notice i'm using the key word assassinate they assassinated his his character so though they're though they're 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 you know that's the reason why assassination attempt therefore assassination attempt was made on him they accused the Republicans, in particular, they true they 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 uh accuse Trump of being um, a divisive person, uh, a fear mongerer. Um, he's no good for the country. He's going to rip us apart. He's crazy, demonic. Uh, he's not fit to be president, and it's the end of our democracy, right? But if you open your eyes and take a, a close look, open your eyes and ears, they doing the same thing that they accusing Trump of doing, man, to the point of somebody tried to take, tried to assassinate this man, our president. Think about it. So whenever they want to bring up, you know, January 6th, when those people, by the way, they had plenty of ample opportunity to get the National Guard to uh, protect the Capitol. And they chose not to do it because they wanted something to go down. Get out of my face with that. Because even though it's wrong that they went in that building, I don't see no way, nowhere where they saw where, they, where, where anybody that stormed that capital was, was harmed or killed. Put it that way, killed. So when they bring that up, when we got one of these liberals that bring that up, I'm going to bring up July 13th when they incited a, a, a crazy lunatic to try to go after our president, to, to take our president out, right? So you got people, oh, but he was a Republican. He was a registered Republican. He did that. I'm, I'm about to end that right now, that, 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 that argument that he was a registered Republican. He did that because he knew the consequences. He knew that 
once he did what he did, uh, they was going to go looking into his background, right? So he purposely put that he was a registered um, Republican to make the Republicans look bad, all right? So he done that on purpose, you know. Um, there's plenty of video out there of him talking about the Republican Party, saying he hates the uh, Republican Party, saying that they can suck you know what, you know. So it's just all smoke and mirrors, man. Um, and for the people that are saying, oh, I hate that he missed, you are disgusting, you're ignorant, you don't, you, you in the sunken place, you don't, uh, you brainwashed, you've been indoctrinated. You got people that hate Trump and they don't even know why they hate him. They, they, it's like certain people in our communities, and I'm, and, and, and I'm talking about some white folks too, they are sheep. Literally, they are sheep, and if they hear it on the radio or, or see a campaign ad or whatever, they automatically believe it's true without, uh, without even doing their own research because they're too ignorant to, to, to search it up and really, you know, look it up and do their own research for themselves. So somebody tell, and this this been going on for decades, decades of this being indoctrinated into communities of color, man, where automatically, soon as you born, you supposed to vote Democrat because Democrats are for the poor and the Republicans are for the rich and therefore the Republicans are against you. But I'm telling you now, them, Demo them Democrats, they play a dirty, low-down game where they try to make themselves look good, but they evil and they dirty and they manipulate you and they try to control you. My number one beef with them is that they don't want you to have particular firearms. They really don't want you to be armed at all. If they had their way, it wouldn't be no guns to protect ourselves against these savages out here. You understand? So I'm just tired of the hypocrisy that's, that's going on. I can't believe that people got so much hatred for a guy that they never met in their life. I disagree with a lot of things, uh, a lot of um, President Biden's, you know, policies. But I would never, ever wish death on that man. I would never, ever hope that somebody would try to take him out because that's unrighteous. We got our disagreement. We got the right to disagree. It's not the bullet, it's the ballot. But we got these ignorant fools in the hood and in the suburbs that are saying, they got jokes. Oh, wow. Why did, why did he miss? I remember back in the early 2000s, late 90s, Trump used to be adored, man, in the black community. You feel me? They looked up to Trump. He was, like, especially in the hip-hop community, the rappers and stuff, they... He, he was all in their videos. They rapped about Trump. They rapped about getting money like Trump. He was like a hero to them. And then all of a sudden, when he decided to run for president, if they was talking about him, oh, he's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. He's a joke. But when he won, he became a threat. See, one of the reasons why... I like Trump, and I'm not a Republican, and I'm damn sure not a Democrat, right? Because I, I, I see what they're up to. They're keeping my people down. And Gun Freak Nation, when I say my people, I'm talking about black, right, and everything in between. But here's the, here's the key. 
they don't like Trump because Trump did not play by their rules, right? He's not a politician. I'm going to tell you that right now. Even though he has been, he's a former president, but he is not a politician. He's a rich person, a billionaire, right? Or was a, a billionaire at one point because they don't do so many lawsuits at him. But he's not a politician and he can't be bald because he got his own money. So you can't buy him. So he's not going to be your figurehead, your, 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 your puppet. And number two, he's no politician, so you, he, he, he can't be bald. So in my opinion, that posed a threat, and it was like, we got to stop him. We're going we gonna, to we gonna, um, assassinate his character, man. He's a, you know, he's a threat. You know, every, listen, man, every time you watching a... Uh, a liberal or a democratic uh, politician, he's a threat against democracy. He's a threat to the country. How many times y'all going to say that before some fanatic, some zealot, going to take it upon his hands to, uh, 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 to try to take him out? And it happened July 13th. It happened. So now they want to be hypocrites again. We got Sleepy Joe giving a press conference. Well, um, we need to uh, tone it down. Um, we need to, you know, bring the country together. Let's tone it down and stop the rhetoric. Let's stop the rhetoric. But he didn't even hold his own self accountable because he the one that went on national TV, called the man evil, and he's a threat to democracy. He said it himself. So he needs to hold his own self accountable. See, what, what's happening is the Democrats, all it is is propaganda. My, my girlfriend, you know, she was talking to one of her friends, and I think her, her daughter called her up, and had a conversation about the uh, attempted assassination. Out of her daughter's mouth, not to get too personal, she didn't say this, but she was like, people are saying he's racist, so I don't care. He's, he's uh, uh, racist. I'm like, oh my God, we was just having a debate about how dirty the Democrats uh, uh, play games with all this propaganda. We, she, my girlfriend has heard the radio stations right here that's targeted right in the hood in Detroit where you got this job, job turkey black man sounding like a job turkey saying Trump is a racist and all that. And they, and they airing that for us to hear and they don't know no better. They're going to take it for what it is and actually think that. He's a racist. So she had to explain to her young daughter, no, he's not a racist. And I told her, if anybody a racist, is, is, it, it would be Joe Biden. He's the one that eulogized a, a former KKK funeral. He's the one that set, uh, was best friends with the white man that orchestrated some of them Jim Crow laws. He's the one in the early 90s that uh, signed off on that crime bill that locked up a lot of men of color. He the one, and along with Hillary Clinton, uh, called us super predators. You know, you got Hillary walking around. Yeah, I got hot sauce in my in my purse. You know, you got uh, Joe Biden. You ain't black if you don't vote for me. Y'all forgot about that, huh? And then they got all these celebrities in their pockets, man. And it's like, name one good thing that the Democrats has ever done for black people. I'm talking about Obama, too. Name one good thing. I can tell you right now that I prospered up under Trump more than I did Obama. Uh, uh, Bush was a Republican. Bush, I, I, all of them. The country is a mess, man. We need love. We need love in our hearts. Anytime when you hear 
little kids, they passing it on to the kids already. And the little kids was like, I hate he miss. You know, if he ran, we gonna be slaves again. They, they, they not. You know, this project 2025. I mean, they just giving it to us, and we receiving it hook, line, and sinker, man. It's a, it's, it's, it's political warfare that is happening. All right, it's political warfare that's going down in this country right now. Political warfare, man. And um, we got to do better, man. You know, I even had a few uh, Gun Freak Nation members unsubscribe. They left the Gun Freak Nation because they said, you know, it offended me. They was like, President, this ain't got nothing to do with us black folks. Stay out of it. I was confused. I'm like, I'm American, man. That's my president, President Trump. So why are you telling me to stay out of it? I do whatever the hell I want to do on my channel. So if you got offended by that, good witness. I don't need you. I don't need you. Good witness. And I'm pretty sure some of you going to unsubscribe after you hear this one. I don't care. I'm going to keep it how I feel. And it's my opinion. Just because I feel that way, I'm not trying to force my opinions or the way I think my logic up off of you. So I don't know why some of y'all taking it so personal. Some of y'all, I gave my number. But I see right now, I may have to end up blocking certain numbers. Because I'm going to beat me at all times. You understand? I'm just telling you it is what it is. You got hypocrisies, man. Nobody, they, they always want to talk about January 6th, but ain't nobody talking about the riots of, of the George Floyd riots when these so-called Black Lives Matters, which, which, I, you know, which came out to be a, a scam, where they got rich and bought all these mansions in the DR, in the Caribbean. They didn't give a damn about black folks. It was a scam. We got we always getting took advantage of and scammed on. Then you got your little uh, uh, attack dogs that want to attack anybody that think differently, that go against the machine. Now, how about that? What about this? Uh, all the riots? They still to this day call them protesters. Nah, man. Anytime when you setting. Uh, anytime, anytime when you setting buildings on fires, setting cars on fires, breaking windows, being wild, wilding out, that's not a protest. That's a riot. But you don't see the Democrats talking about that, do you? You don't see them talking about that. What about the time when, uh, since they want to bring up January 6th, bring up this. What about that time in Seattle when they took over um, a part of, um, was it Portland or whatever? Uh, uh, what was it called? Chaz or Chad or whatever? When they took over this radius of, uh, of Seattle or Portland or something, whatever, but they called it Chaz, police was not allowed to enter. And they took over. I think it was Antifa or whatever the hell it is. Monifa and, and Antifa or whatever. They took over and it was total anarchy. It was total anarchy. What about that? Huh? What about in Minneapolis when they surrounded that police station and set it on fire? Where was the Democrats then? Where was the liberals at then condemning that? Huh? We're talking about hypocrisy right now. Because anytime when you go against their narrative, anytime when you pose a threat to their agenda, guess what? You're going to be one of the most demonic, horrible persons in the world. They're going to assassinate your character. And they don't take it so far. Look, man. Look. Look, y'all. They tried to put, when the whole time when Trump was president, collusion, collusion, collusion. That turned out to be 
untrue, right? So when he running for president again, they tried to lock him up. They put all these lawsuits against him. They, they did some stuff with the January 6th that he really, you know, didn't have nothing to do with. They thought they didn't have the proper security there to keep them people out, right? So they tried to lock him up. They gave him, they even gave him felony charges on, on his personal life because allegedly he had sex with a porn star, so to speak. And tried to pay her to keep her mouth shut. That ain't none of my business. Well, that, whoever that man sleep with, it don't affect my life. Okay? It do not affect my life, whoever he choose to sleep with. That's between him, his wife, and his family. But this Democrat judge, these Democrat jury, this uh, uh, the, the, the district attorney who ran and got elected, on the basis that he was going to lock Trump up and, you know, indict Trump. He ran off of that. Y'all forgot about that? The same district attorney that brought these charges, that's, that if it would have been anybody else, listen to me, if it would have been anybody else, a regular Joe, it would have been just a misdemeanor. But because it's Trump and because this guy, this district attorney, ran off of, yeah, you, you elect me district attorney, I promise you I'm going to indict Trump. And he, he did what he said he was going to do. This happened in New York, liberal, democratic New York. So everybody all of a sudden now want to uh, uh, throw up the fact, yeah, he's a felon. I can't even get a job. I'm a felon, so how he going to be president? But they don't even know what the charges is. You understand? They act like Trump don't went out and, and killed somebody. No. All this stemmed from allegedly him paying off a porn star. And they took one charge and sliced it up into 34 slices. That's just like taking a, 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 a pie and you taking a slice out of the pie and taking that slice and then slicing it up into 34 slices. That's what they did. It was a kangaroo court. It was political uh, 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 retribution. It's called lawfare, man. They don't. They don't. Uh, uh, they don't um, uh, uh, recognize the uh, the justice system, man. So now that that backfired. All right, let's turn up the heat even more and just say this guy, you know, it's the end of the world if this guy get elected, if Trump get elected. Let's just say it's the end of the world. It's going to be World War III. So when you create that environment, what you think going to happen, man? I don't, if he did go with a, 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 a prostitute or a porn star, whatever, it don't affect my life. You know what's affecting my life? This high-ass gas, the inflation that's at the grocery store, bread, meat, and all that. That's what's affecting my family, my, my, my life. I don't give a damn who he sleep with. Sleepy Joe don't turn this country upside down. But yet he got money to give to the Ukraine $200 billion for a war that they not going to win. Ain't that a bitch? I'm going to tell y'all right now, wake up, man. I'm not telling you to be a Republican. I damn sure ain't telling you to be a Democrat. I'm telling you to be yourself and, and, and just have an open mind because so many of our people is blind. So many of our people, you can't even try to have a, 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 a conversation with them without them getting mad and angry and ready to fight you over it because they don't been indoctrinated. And they don't even know why they hate the man. They've just been told that this man is a racist. They've been told that uh, he's only for the rich. And, 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 and they hate him now. One thing about black folks that the Democrats got us on the leash on, all that anything else can go on and we don't, we don't give a damn, right? We don't give a damn. But the minute they say the word racism, It gets our attention. We be like, what? Racist? 
And that's how they 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 got they man. They got their hooks in us. They got their hooks in us, man. And it's 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 bad. It's real bad. You know, you put on a make America great again hat, then you better be ready to uh send somebody to Funky Town, man, because they're gonna try you. They're gonna attack you. You understand? And even my own members of Gun Freak Nation turned on me and left good riddance. I've had people stay out of it. It was a white person that did it. Not no, it's ignorance. And it's worse. Ignorance. So because it was a white boy that tried to assassinate Trump, I, I don't suppose to have no opinion on it. I suppose to just stand down and don't have, oh, it ain't got nothing to do with black folks. That's the most ignorant shit I ever heard, man. And don't ever, I'll black you my damn self if you say some dumb shit like that again on my channel. Listen, y'all. Y'all stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms. And be ready to send that demon to Funky Town. Because the devil was mad. The devil was a liar. And boy, oh boy, lies are being told, man. I love each and every one of y'all. But remember this. The devil is a liar, man. And the system is against us. We got to fight. And the only way we're going to win this is if we unite, man. Them liberals, man, they do everything they can to divide us, to tear us apart. You know, uh, you don't never see Republicans or conservatives um, behaving uh, in the way that these liberals behave. You don't never really see them rioting or, you know, uh, gunning down political you know, po you know, politicians, um, you don't really see that. But yet, they're the ones that, if you believe the Democrats, is the ones that's the violent ones. I'm going to leave it at that, man. I love you, God Free Nation. Salute, baby! Trump 2024!